What's happening guys? My name's Mike, welcome back to the channel. Y'all seem to like my last review that I did from the car and I happen to really need a haircut actually for this review. So here we are again. You'll have to excuse my somewhat unkept hairstyle today. I don't usually put a whole lot of effort into my hairstyle when I'm going to the salon. That's mainly just because I don't want to make it harder for Jenny to uh, cut my hair. So I usually make sure there's not a whole lot of product in there, especially no oil-based stuff. And uh, usually works out pretty good. Ah, mm, so good. We should probably get to the point of this video. Today I am going to be reviewing for you the new Night Fiber from the By Valane line. This is the brand new release from Rasmus and Emil from Slick Hair TV. I've actually talked with Rasmus and Emil. I've been talking with them actually since I started the channel. They are very awesome guys, very generous with their uh, tips and stuff like that to help me get my videos a little better. So they told me that they were going to be tweaking the formula a little bit and then re-releasing the fiber as a new addition to the line, as a permanent product. So that's cool. This is always going to be available. It's not a limited anymore. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send you guys over to get a closer look at the product, get a few details on what we're working with, and I'm going to keep making my way towards the salon. I'll see you guys in a second. Last November, we were given the limited edition black fiber. Now slightly revamped, we are introduced to the newest permanent addition to the Bivalane lineup, Night Fiber. Obviously similar to black fiber, Night Fiber is a stronghold smooth finish fiber wax. This formula was designed to be different than black fiber but still features the same slightly minty scent and the 2.2 ounce black plastic jar that we see featured on the rest of the line. Looking inside the jar we can see the wax is very creamy in consistency and scoops out much creamier than most of the other waxes we have seen from the Bivalane line. Scooping this product out is very easy and as you can see it has a very smooth breakdown in the hand. But is there a direct difference between the night fiber and black fiber? According to the jars, the hold and finish are actually the same, but the difference I can see can be found inside the jar, as black fiber scoops out thicker with an almost clumpy and thick breakdown, while night fiber again scoops out very creamy and goes into the hand very wet and begins to break down almost instantly. All right, so now that we've taken a closer look at the product, I'm actually going to run into the salon with Jenny here, get a quick haircut. I wish that I could film it properly like I like to do here on the channel, but it's actually quite difficult to uh, film something by yourself while you're in the chair yourself. So I'm going to run in there, get a quick cut, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I am all cleaned up. I had Jenny go through my usual skin fade here on the sides. It's taken up with a little bit of length left on the upper sides here, or the fenders, if you will. And I uh, got a little bit of length here. I have a recently discovered uh, gray patch right there. It kind of drives me nuts. But uh, my hair on the top is up to about a three and a half. I'm hoping to have a full haircut video for you guys soon, but let's continue on with the review and the look at Night Fiber. I had Jenny put a little in my hair here at the salon. I'm gonna actually go home and uh, do a close-up demo for you so you can get a proper look at how it performs in my hair. But she had a few thoughts on the product, which I will relay for you at the end as well. So let's head back to the house. Now, let's see how it styles. I'm going to use a total of two small scoops in dry hair today, following the directions on the jar, which say to use it sparingly. I notice right away that the product works into the hair very easy, but it does firm up and become sticky almost as soon as it touches my hair. The finish did kind of throw me a little, as I do see a bit of shine in there, but some of that is also because my hair is naturally shiny. Running a comb through my hair with this product is super easy, and getting a nice shape even with the quick setting of the wax is very easy as well. After the product has been in the hair for even just a few minutes, that initial finish dials down a bit as well to reveal that true smooth finish. Oof, that is so much better. I had to change my shirt. Have you ever had all that hair stuck down inside your shirt after you get a haircut? It's enough to drive you nuts. Okay, so let's talk about the endurance on this new product. Today it's about 99 or 100 degrees Fahrenheit, but with the 60% humidity, it feels a lot hotter. The hold has not gone away completely, obviously, as you can see here. 
and the restyle game on this is actually quite solid. Even with what I can see here as, you know, obvious lifting of hold just a tad bit once again, the restyling is super easy. Your comb just flows right through your hair and there is still enough hold remaining in the hair to actually keep things going. As you can see from, you know, my hair here, it's still actually holding up and nothing's falling into my face. So that's pretty good. Washout was actually super easy on this product. I didn't actually feel any left in my hair after rinsing with just water, so all good there. Styling wise, I did have some thoughts and so did my stylist Jenny actually. This product does scoop out of the jar and break down very nicely, very nice and creamy, but when you start to apply it to the hair, it does become rather sticky and a little bit tacky fairly quickly. Jenny actually noticed the same thing when I asked her to use it and style my hair with it in the salon. She actually said that the product did set rather quickly when she was trying to apply it to my hair, but that it wasn't necessarily a bad thing because wherever she put the product, the hair actually stayed in place, making it rather easy to sculpt and mold my hairstyle. I have to say that I agree with that. I think the hold is a little bit sticky and tacky, but it's not so much so that it impairs you from using tools like a comb or brush, and it still allows you to produce a really good hairstyle when used as a post styler. I did not yet use this as a pre-styler. I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible, so I did not have time to actually use this as a pre-styler. I do plan to go into that and I will update you guys on my channel's Facebook page after I give that a test. I do think this was a really good addition to the Bivalane line. I do think that it'll work out really well for some of you that felt the Gold Digger or Silver Fox might be a little too sticky for you to style with. I think you should check this out because I think it'll work out really well for you because it worked out really well for me and I find some of those same struggles with those products. So I definitely recommend you check this out. If you want to check out the Night Fiber, I will leave a link in the description. At the time of posting this video, I'm not sure if they actually have it up on their site yet, but I do know that they're going to be announcing it and getting all that stuff up and running within the coming days. So be sure to check that out when it's available. If you like what I did in this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button and check out my other social media accounts. All right. That is it for today's episode. I actually already have another video ready to roll for you guys here on the channel. So make sure you have your notifications turned on so you can see when that comes out, which will be very soon. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you next time.